more about our past. This would have been easier if time machines existed, but nature has given us a few remains to help us explore about our past. They are fossils. Fossils are preserved remains or traces of remains of ancient plants and animals. Most living organisms decay quickly after death. So the formation of fossils is something that occurs rarely. Preserved remains formed around 10,000 years ago become fossils. Some of the recent fossils are the fossilized teeth of mammoths. The oldest fossils we have are the algae that lived more than 3 billion years ago. There are different types of fossils. They can be trace fossils, traces left behind due to the activity of the organisms like footprints and burrows. We can't say that fossils are the remains of the organism itself. They are mostly made of rocks. The most common method of fossilization is permineralization. This happens when the dead organism is quickly covered by sediments. We have permineralized fossils of dinosaurs. After the death of a dinosaur, its skin and muscles decay. The remaining bones would have been quickly covered by mud. It would also have been covered by the layers of sand and volcanic ash over millions of years. By this time, minerals seeped into the pores of bones. This mineralization hardens the bone, turning them to rocks. Over millions of years, the movement of the hot molten core deep inside the earth caused the uplifting of underground rocks, creating mountains. This exposed fossils that were buried long ago. Fossils of ancient marine animals called ammonites have been found in the Himalayas, which indicates the rocks that formed the Himalayas were at the bottom of the ocean long ago. Some animals were frozen deep in the ice and mummified, preserving them exactly how they were. An example is Eucamant, an ice age animal mummified in the Siberian permafrost in Russia. The 39,000 year old mammoth's muscles, ligaments, and blood vessels were preserved. Insects are preserved and mummified in amber, which is made of tree sap. The tree sap covers the insect and creates a protective seal around it. Slowly, the soft tree sap hardens and turns into amber preserving the soft tissues of the insect. Fossil fuels are used all over the world. Where do they come from? A fossilization method known as carbonization changes the soft tissues of plants into thin films of carbon. Such layers of carbon form coal over millions of years. Most of the fossils Paleontologists discover are of marine animals because water preserves fossils better than on land. On land, bacteria can quickly decompose dead organisms. Paleontologists discover fossils to find out more about how these ancient organisms lived, their environment, and how they evolved and how the earth evolved. Many more fossils are yet to be discovered and they will tell more stories about the past. Hope you liked it. And as always, stay tuned for the next video.